Hey everybody, welcome back. Just kind of a quick video today. I have a, a number of other projects going on, all of which I'm having minor difficulties with and it's taken a bit longer. But here a week or so ago, somebody asked me to print a number of things for them. And they asked me if I could print it out of purple, and purple filament isn't something I normally keep around. I only get it when somebody asks for it. And well, they said, oh, it could be purple or black, but then a little bit later they sent me a link to the purple filament you're looking at. This silk, shiny purple PLA, lilac, violet, mauve, lavender, pansy, orchid, amethyst, raisin, dark reddish purple by Sheng Tian. So it seems to get good reviews, 627 ratings, and it's got four and a half stars on Amazon. So I thought, why not? And it's not expensive. So I went ahead and ordered a roll of it, despite the fact that I didn't really think it was going to come out shiny like that at all. But, you know, some people have posted pictures of what came out, and it does look like it prints shiny. So um, I went ahead and I got the roll, and um, it does print fairly nicely, but then again, so does almost all PLA. So I've done all the printing. It's done now. So I thought, you know what? Maybe you guys haven't printed in this shiny filament. Maybe you've looked at that and thought to yourself, yeah, when that melts and then re-solidifies in the 3D printer, it's not going to be that shiny. So let's take a look at what I printed and let's see if it's worthwhile getting this super shiny, silky uh, material. Lilac, violet, mauve, lavender, pansy, orchid, amethyst, raisin, dark, reddish, purple by Sheng Tian. Okay, so first things first. If I haven't mentioned it already, um, I purchased this roll of filament myself. I am not sponsored by Sheng Tian or any other filament manufacturer. So I just want to show you about how much of, of this roll I printed. I probably have printed a good 85-90% of this roll of filament. This is the Gitek A10M printer, and I have the dual gear extruders on it. I highly recommend these dual gear extruders. They are extremely good at feeding filament reliably and smoothly. Tangles don't seem to stop it. Nothing seems to stop them. I haven't tried them for anything other than PLA and PETG yet, but they work so they work really, really well, at least for those filaments. We'll do a test of them. Um, I got more of them coming. So I'm going to put them out on my Ender 3 that I have set up for flexible filament, and we'll do a test on, on, on that too. So my concern with this, flex, with this shiny filament, and I don't know why, but my camera screen's making this filament look blue. And if it looks blue on yours, trust me, it is not blue. It is extremely purple. This is Victoria's Secret Women's Lingerie purple, color purple. It is very purple. So let's take a look at the things I printed. First and foremost, once I got my, checked my settings and made sure my settings were good, I printed this little baby Groot planner thing, or pen holder, or coin holder, or whatever you'd use it for. Got it off Thingiverse and printed it exactly the way I found it. Didn't change a thing about it. And um, it printed really, really nicely. And it, shockingly enough, it maintained a great deal of its shininess after being printed. I have never printed another PLA that came out as shiny as this one. Most of them, most PLAs for me have more of a satiny finish than anything else. So I was pretty amazed. The shininess really, really shows the difference in heights of the, the whatever you call them, the ridges on his arms and his head and the inset of the eyeballs. It's pretty, pretty darn nice. The other things I printed were things that, um, that originally, design ideas that originally came from Thingiverse, although who knows where those design ideas came from. But these are battery holders. And these two are designed for 26 650s on the left and 2700s on the right. And they just hold batteries straight up and down, around 10 of them. And um, the two in the back are, are um, they will here, let me d demonstrate. They do this. You put a battery in it and it does that. And they hold about 18 or so batteries. And I saw these designs on Thingiverse originally, but... One of two things happened. I either didn't, there was something about them I didn't like, or I needed to make changes, and there was no CAD file with them. So I just went into Fusion 360 and designed them again from the ground up. That way I have the design in case I need to make changes, and in case somebody says, hey, you stole that, and you know, whatever. So anyway, there is that. So I'm really impressed with the way this purple filament prints. 
I am just shocked at how shiny it is, although I do have to admit, something like this that has a lot of different angles and planes and curves, it works really, really well for that. Something that you expect to be ridged and curved and faceted and have light shining off it from different directions. For something like this that has a lot of flat surfaces, it's certainly shiny, but it also shows up more of the artifacting and the layering from the 3D printing. Don't get me wrong, it still looks really good, but um, it does show up the layer lines and some of the other artifacting the 3D printer does more so than standard PLA that has a satin finish. So that's it. If you guys are interested in shiny prints, this may be the filament for you. Please like and subscribe. Hit notification. Give me a thumbs up if you think this video helped you any. And um, I'll catch you guys the next time. Bye for now.